take the mud flap. Before we raise the vehicle up, you want to see where you want to place the mud flap because they are universal. You can put them lower or higher depending on how you want them. It's always a good idea to find a frame of reference so that you can do the same for the other side. So we have a little push pin here. So we want to go about an inch above that push pin and then make sure it looks level. And then I'm just going to take a marker and just mark it right there. That's where we're going to put it. You want to do the same on the other side before you raise the vehicle up. I'm going to remove the wheel. You don't necessarily need to remove the wheel, but it'll give you a little more room and you can get in there. Remove the hubcap. Same 19 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. Remove the wheel. Using a trim tool, I'm going to pull these push pins out. The one right here and one right there. Otherwise, the push pins are going to get in the way. You want to just get this lined up the way it's supposed to be. Take the mud flap, line that up. And then we're going to take a screw that comes with the hardware. Use a Phillips head bit to get this started right there. Screw that in, just snug. Then you can take the mud flap and just make sure it's angled properly, make sure it's level. That looks pretty good. We'll do the same. We'll go further down. Put another screw right there. And then one more, about six inches apart. Good. And if you have to make any adjustments, you can take the two bottom screws out, adjust it, and then reposition the screws. You can do the same on the other side. Put the wheel back on. Put the lug nuts on. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. Put the hubcap back on. And screw these caps back in. You can do this by hand. Just use the socket. Just snug. And you're all set.